Hi, today I'd like to talk about uh, extraction and testing zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. These are four uh, micronutrients that are actually cations, and we talked about potassium and calcium, magnesium, sodium being exchanged. So they're the same kind of things that are sitting on these kind of exchange capacity. But they're, they're what we call heavy metals. They're uh, slower to react. And uh, it, so we have a DTPA chelate that we use to extract uh, zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. And this chelate uh, gradually pulls the, z the trace elements off the exchange complex in the solution. And it's, uh, it's a fairly weak solution of uh, uh, calcium chloride that is used to flocculate the clay so we can get clear filtrate. And then the DTPA to uh, do the chelate extraction. And then the soil extract is buffered with TEA, triethylenamine, it's so the pH of the extract is 7.3. The very important part of the extract is that that 7.3 is used because the solubility of the trace elements vary depending on the pH. And if the, if the extract was pH was incorrect, the uh, extract would be uh, of the micronutrients would be incorrect also. So it's very important we have that TEA in the solution and it's adjusted the pH of 7.3. And the chelate then gradually pulls the, the uh, trace element off the exchange complex and maybe off of some other salt particles also. And so we have to shake the samples for two hours. Now if you had a different shaking time especially a, a shorter time, then some soils doesn't give up their nutrients or micronutrients very fast, so you'd have a lower testing and have a higher recommendation. So it's important that we do the shaking for a full two hours. And then filtering is, uh, is very slow, so it filters for another hour or so before we can do the test. But I wanted you to understand that this test, the DTPA test, was developed by people at Colorado State, and uh, it's very well correlated with nutrient uptake of the trace elements, and I think it's a very excellent test for zinc, iron, manganese, and copper.